If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. All right, so Jay, you kick off. Here's the question, Jay. Uh, what's your experience been in the Platinum and what's the coaching like for you and is it different from anything else you've had? Absolutely, it's different. Um, I mean, Crystal is amazing. Even through challenging times, she stay on you. She supports you. You know, um, she does ask you to be accountable and have uh, some kind of clear strategy to mitigate things, but I have absolutely enjoyed it. I'm learning, it's like a family. I can call some of these guys around here and they give me the emotional and mental support through challenging times that I need. These are guys, these are an amazing group of people up here. Let's give Jay a hand for sharing. That's Bob with you on All right, Bob, what's your experience been? And if you were talking to a friend of yours and telling them why they should enroll in Platinum, what would you tell them? Well, first of all, uh, you're an amazing group of people to work with. Um, and right now I'm tired because Crystal, she's a driver. She, <laughs> she does not let you rest. But um, the Platinum program, it's... We've been, um, Dorian and I, my partner here, okay. we've been involved in real estate investing for many years, and I've gone through many other coaching programs, and um, when I, I brought her down, not knowing that she was going to participate, she was just going to go out on the beach and enjoy herself, and the first day she came in, I finally talked her into coming in, and the minute she saw Jay and his team, she fell in love, just like I did. And um, from there on, it's been, it's been a, a tremendous opportunity for us. Um, we didn't think that we would ever be this far, um, as far as, I never even considered raising private money because I didn't know anything about it. So this whole um, concept with, private lenders. It's just been a tremendous help to us. Um, we're in the process of raising uh, private money and like everybody's been saying, if we have a question or we have, uh, if we're stuck on something, they're just a phone call away and they're always willing and able to answer anything that we, uh, questions that we have to help us out. Yeah. Awesome. Give Bob a hand for sharing. <laughs> And Doreen. I'll make it real quick. Um, I, Bob did a great job. I do want to say that, Jay, you and your team are the real deal. And when we came in June, that was the whole, the whole thing. Everybody was trying to figure out, it, do they really do what they say they're going to do? We've all heard all these uh, other programs, and we did not get our money's worth and didn't get where we needed to be. We'd never be where we are if we weren't in the program with you. Thank you so much, and we really appreciate it. We're all looking right. to total success. Thank you. And Tom. Yeah, so I'm part of another group, a uh, coaching group, and um, been in that group for a little over a year now and a uh, huge difference in how it is run and how this one is run. I could name a lot of things, but the big thing is the atmosphere, the spirit among, about the way we are coached is vastly different. In the other one, we frequently get scolded. And in this one, it's always lifting you up, supporting you, encouraging you. And I want to say something specific about Crystal. Like they've been saying that they're only a phone call away, they're there to help you. Just this past weekend, I had a deal that I wanted to know Crystal's opinion on. And so I sent her an email. 
And on Sunday, she wrote me and she said, I'm going to get to it, but my son just went in the hospital. Do you know she answered my email that evening? And she had this thing starting too. Yeah. That was just this past Sunday. That says something about what you get with this program. Can't get enough. And, yeah, and back to Tom for a second. So Tom, I remember meeting you in person in the restaurant in the first event that you came to. And so my question is, before you enrolled and before you even came to this event, were you a little skeptical? And if so, why? Okay, I heard about Jay in a podcast with my other group. And um, so I was intrigued, and so I bought his, or got his book, and then I started watching his, his uh, um, podcasts or his training you, things you or whatever. Yeah. And, and I looked and I thought, okay, I don't trust this guy. <laughs> I think he's arrogant. <laughs> and then I came here. I thought, well, I'll give him a chance. I came here, and I told him, you are nothing like what I envisioned. He's full of humility, and he's real. So that's <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> I should, is my face red again? <laughs> All I can say is, brother, I'm glad you came around. I'm glad you came around. Alan, please share. What's your experience in platinum? It's a very good, a very cohesive, and it's well worth it. Awesome. Give Alan a hand for sharing. <laughs> Who do I see down there? Somebody lost okay. weight. What, ben, what have you lost? Where's the other hundred pounds of you? <laughs> Man, you look fantastic. Well, I appreciate you. You, you look fantastic. fantastic. <laughs> well, I'm a past platinum. I met Jay in 2015 and became a platinum member at that time. And I went home and got about over a hundred thousand dollar worth of a. Uh, Private money and over a hundred thousand in yeah. private money. And then I became a one band show. And since that time, that was probably about 2018, I haven't done a whole lot since then. And I had a conversation with Chaffee in uh, December, and we had a good conversation, and he told me a lot of things have changed. And I see, because I have worked with none of <laughs> the people that you have here now except for Brenda. So I'm here to, to see how you operate now, and I see that it is fantastic, and I'm looking forward to becoming a Platinum Plus member. Awesome, Ben. Because God bless you. One, of, one other thing that I learned about Jay is he's for real. And one special thing that I like, because I am a Christian, that he is a Christian, and he's going to do things that's right. Mary. And I'm trying to get out from in front of the speaker because it's well, really loud. Well, come on up here if you want to. <laughs> so, hi, I'm Mary. If I haven't met you, I want to. Um, there are so many good things I could say. My past, I was very analytical, very structured, and I needed that because I have dealt with other mentoring programs where they're, yeah, we're here to help you, but not the structure. What they talked about with all of the Kajabi lessons and all of that, I need that structure. And you're not going to get that, to my knowledge, anywhere else. They're step by step. They teach you. There's no stone left unturned. Um, and all of that is great. But the best part, and some of the folks here have already captured that, is they're real. They are the real deal. I can feel the Holy Spirit in the room. And this is where we're supposed to be. And this, this is my family that I talk to, some of them five, six times a week, some of them just on the, the Zoom calls. But they've made a difference in my life. And I am going to be successful. I already am. It's just in many different ways, relationship-wise, financially. And it's, I encourage you all, if you haven't decided already, you know, if, this, if you're thinking this is what you need, you're right. 
You're absolutely right. And just thank you guys for everything. So Kelly is not only on the coaching team and has been on the coaching team for many years uh, with Chaffee, myself, John, and Crystal, but Kelly and um, her other half that's not in the room, that handsome guy walking around somewhere, actually enrolled in the program because after working here as a coach, uh, she and he decided that the, the program was actually for them. So Kelly, as a Platinum member, your experience. Well, as a Platinum member, obviously, I, I tried to tell Kevin we should do this back in 2017, and that's when he came and met you the first time. Um, as a Platinum member, there's so much support. It's echoing everything that they've already said. There's so much support, um, and it's done in a very, very loving way. Everybody has stuff come up. Everybody has stuff come up, right? Yeah. And no matter what comes up in this woman's life, somehow... She's, I've told her since I met her, she's my hero. She juggles it and she makes it work. And it's no surprise to me that she answered that email from the hospital the other night. That's just the kind of person that she is. I'll call and say, are you available this afternoon? She'll go, I can talk now. <laughs> so it's just that level of commitment, that level of support. And I'm forever grateful. And as I said before, I'm not just a coach, I'm a platinum plus client. <laughs> And how much, how much private money being in the Platinum program, of course you're in Mastermind as well, right. but how much private money have you and Kevin raised so far? We're hovering at right about a half a million. We plan to do at least that by February again. So we'll a half a million, million in private money. <laughs> and, um, and I tell you what, Carol Joy is so much a part of this family, obviously. Carol Joy, come up here and, and join us while we're, while we're talking with these folks. <laughs> I know you're just, y'all help me bring Carol Joy on back up here. Yeah, I'll switch places with you. So next, next we have uh, Jonathan and Kara Broyles, and they are platinum, and they're platinum and mastermind as well, but um, y'all please share your story. Yeah, so we are, we came to our first event in 2021, and when we came into the event, Really, the only thing I told my wife, Kara, was we're not signing up for anything today. <laughs> and that night, we decided to sign up for all of it. And so I would just encourage you, because this is by far the best business decision that we've ever made. And it's a large investment. It looks like a large investment on paper. But in the last year, we have nearly tripled our investment. So Jay's guarantee is a double your money guarantee. We've nearly tripled ours and things are really starting to roll for us. So and how much private money have you and Kara raised so far? We have raised 780000 in private money. Yes. Yeah. And before you pass the mic, or Kara, you can answer no, this. I don't need to. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so anyway, not only the private money, but you all just recently cashed out on a deal, right, that you shared with the Mastermind members. And what was y'all's profit on that cash out, just on that one deal? $125,000. $125,000. And then we have Erica and Eric, Eric also known as Banjo. Um, and so please share your story and your platinum experience. Um, I just want to say, to speak about the program, um, I think it's so awesome that it works in any market, whether it's a hot market or not, and it also works in any area. We come from all over the United States, and if we can raise over a million in private lending in small town Mississippi, I think anyone can do it. Um, How much private money have you raised so far? 1.4 million. 1.4 million in private money. So two years ago when I came, he was just taking me on a vacation to the beach with the four, <laughs> to get away from the four kids for the first time. And, and little uh, did you know. Little did I know, as they said, we were coming and we were not buying a thing. We were coming to get whatever information we could get out of this three-day program. And uh, before we left, we signed up after giving them such a hard time. But um, <laughs> we have not looked back since. Um, Eric can tell you about what happened. <laughs> yeah, so we, we um, I had a plan to quit the railroad. I was still working in a 9 to 5, well, really 3.30 in the morning. I'd leave the house. I'd be home for 4.30 in the afternoon. 
And uh, I had a plan to leave that job January 2023. That's not happened yet, right? But I, <laughs> I, uh, I ended up quitting with the help of this entire team, uh, especially the large shoe size of Chaffee, uh, to quit the railroad April 2021. Yes. So this, this decision that we've made uh, back in October of 2020 has absolutely changed our life. Our children, I, I, I don't have to work for anybody anymore. Um, our children are about to all be homeschooled. We're gonna be able to do what we want when we want. Um, we are full-time real estate investors, both of us. We are also hosts and uh, we run a local RIA at our, in, in Poplarville, Mississippi now. And I also host a networking business meeting that is held every Friday in our, in our um, small town. And it just keeps getting better and better. We're getting more and more involved in our city and, and we're, game, you know, we're becoming game changers, really. And we're also both published authors now. Yeah. Yes. So what's the name of your book? Low Risk, High Returns. And how, how are you now? Because you just, you just became published Monday of this week. Monday of how this are week. you going to use the book? Um, it's going to be a private money raiser for us. It's going to be a, it's gonna be a, a, a credibility tool. Um, you know, we've already established ourselves as an authority down there in Mississippi for private money, and this is just going to help move the needle. And how did you get published so easily and so quickly? <laughs> Chaffee helped us out. <laughs> <laughs> So it was a it was a program that y'all introduced to us, and um, it's basically a done for, almost a, I mean basically a done for you thing, a personalized book all about private money. So um, when you sit down with the coaches, um, the way you can get your own done for you book, if you have an interest in your own done for you private lending book that you can give out to potential private lenders. Um, I mean it's all about you in the book, but it's done for you. Um, when you sit down, the coaches, either Chaffee or Crystal or John that you sit down with, will be able to explain yeah. to you how you can get, uh, get your own done for you book as well. So um, that's an amazing story right there. Give Banjo and Eric another hand. Oh, oh yeah. But before we pass the mic, go back down to Erica for, for a little bit. So this is a real estate investing coaching program, but there's more to it than that. There's the personal development side. And, you know, I tell people until you own the real estate that is between your ears, it's going to be very hard to actually do real estate out there and implement it. So, Erica, when we first met at the first live event, um, how would you describe how you felt then and speaking in front of crowds and standing up here in front of a room compared to today? Um, so my first event was at the Dunes Club. It was during COVID, and I will never forget because I was supposed to be at the beach. You know, I wasn't supposed to be at this real estate conference. I was not an investor. Um, Jay was like, "Okay, raise your right hand." You know, the little <laughs> affirmations that we do, and I'd be like, mm, "Okay." <laughs> and so I would say it really quietly, and I just did not own it. I was very self-conscious and I had zero confidence in this program with the mindset training. Um, as y'all can see, I am talking on the mic. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I'm in the back yelling and screaming. And I say my affirmations, and it's just been a real game changer um, for personal development as well. Were you skeptical even as you were enrolling before you signed up? Absolutely. So Eric was in a program before, um, and it did weekly calls, and I remember him just being over it. He's like, I'm not doing these calls anymore. They're just not any good for me. I'm just busy. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll do it. I'll listen to the calls. And so I got on the first call that week and it was a recording. I couldn't speak to anyone or, or whatever. So we would dial in. And I think the first one was on like breathing exercises. This was like a real estate coaching. It was breathing. I'm like, okay, well, I tried to take as many notes as I could because I'm a note taker. And then <laughs> the next week I'm like, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna get on again. The next one was like, eat your vegetables. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, I quit too. So, <laughs> oh, well, thanks for sharing. So, let's come down here to Elena and Karen. Well, I kind of feel like how you feel, Chaffee. I have to follow that. <laughs> so, oh no, you can follow that. Tell your story. Well, our story kind of sounds like theirs. There was a 
This is my um, wife, Karen. Um, there was a huge fight before we came here. Oh, sorry. There was a huge fight before we came here that we are not going to another program. We are not buying anything else. This is ridiculous. She tells me, okay, well, I'll just bring someone else. What? <laughs> so I'm coming now, right? So by the end, probably even before the end of the, I said, we got to buy this. We have, we are in. So um, this program has just been wonderful for me. Um, at the beginning, I wouldn't even make a call to a seller. So to have a, a completely turnaround where I'm doing that now. Thank you, Crystal. Um, she's fantastic. I love her so much. I love them all, but... But you really love Crystal. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> but good, good. The, the, it, it's all because of you, Jay. Because oh, it's too late. You, it's too late. You, you, it's too late. you dictate, you delegate, and you disappear. <laughs> uh, that's something his daddy says. <laughs> But um, I'll let you tell um, how our progress Okay, well, we started a program in February of, uh, this year. of this year, and we now have a total of 810000 in private lending money. $810,000. Yes, yes. So thanks, Jay. Thanks, Crystal. Because if it wasn't for you guys, Thank you. she wouldn't be on, my, on, the, on the team. Because right <laughs> I love to buy programs, and I think I said, she said, okay, this is the last one. And I said, okay, that's it. This is the last one. <laughs> so thank you. That's awesome. Give them another hand. <laughs> and here we have Mark Gu. And just so you know, Mark was already a successful real estate investor, done deals uh, before uh, enrolling into the program. So since enrolling, Mark, your experience. Yeah, well, before I enrolled, I already had flipped 40 houses. And the tough thing behind that was <laughs> you always did not have that private money. You were funding it the hard way. So Jay's way of getting 75% of the after repair value on your rehab costs up front has already made a big difference for me. Um, I recently bought a property in one of my areas for $50,000 for a two family. And ironically, that was my biggest money maker I ever made. I made 178,000 on one property. Yes. But it gets better. It gets better. That particular gentleman that I bought the house from, he did, um, the property was an area that I had another a property in. And he then said to me, he's like, I'm actually gonna be moving from Connecticut, where we're from, and he's moving down to Florida. So he then said to me that his wife has got a uh, IRA account, a self-directed IRA account for retiring from her job and about $400,000. So you already know, I buddied up with him with that relationship and he became a private lender for me. And I did three more, bought three rental properties because I do student housing. And this gentleman made over $40,000 last year just with private money that I've paid him. So how much private money have you raised so far? Um, well, since I've been in the program now for four months, um, I've gotten $800,000 uh, pledged to me so far, and there's three more on the fence for another two hundred. dollars So I'm going to follow up with them when I get back. And, so you've uh, already got, in four months, $800,000. $800,000. Yes! Yes! And, you know, the private lending really is the missing puzzle quite often behind getting your deal flow going. Um, it's been huge, and I want to thank you. I want to thank Carol Joy. Crystal's always fabulous on all the calls with the smile ever so beaming in the background. You know, I'm very appreciative to have met your mom and your dad. You know, they are absolutely awesome. I could see where the charm, personality, <laughs> and the tenacity is coming from. And I, I, left, I left Chaffee alone for quite a while, but as I told him the other day, he's not free from dealing with me, okay? <laughs> and um, he gave me some great constructive criticism the other day because I often take on too much and I have too many things going on at once. And sometimes, as Crystal even said, you got to get that laser beam focus and zone in. So, as Chaffee said to me the other day, and I'm very grateful for his friendship and mentorship, he's like, Mark, with you, less is more. So I want to thank these guys. You are all phenomenal. 
And what more needs to be said? You got it, Mark. <laughs> now, next is Jim and Buffy. Jim and Buffy have been, or at least Jim, for a long time has been a real estate investor. I think he's been trying to pull Buffy into the fold. But Jim came into the program uh, recently and already had years of experience of real estate investing. So Jim, why did you come into the program after having all that experience and what's your experience been so far? Okay, so that's a really great question, Jay. Um, I've actually been a real estate investor for as long as Jay has. Uh, I quit my job in 2003, went full-time into real estate. Got hit pretty hard in 2008 by the market crash. Um, I still have some stuff that is still recovering from that. But what turned me on to Jay was actually I had a friend of mine uh, who who's actually just recently passed away. Uh, I'm wearing the Navy hat because I was in the Navy with him. And he's the one actually that earlier this year said, you need Jay Connor. And I, I'm like, well, the name sounds familiar. Like I've heard it somewhere. But, like, but anyway, so he's like, you need, to, you need to get in touch with Jay Connor's program. That's what you need. So I had borrowed private money in the past, but once I came here, actually I came here in June, uh, once I came here, I saw the way Jay was doing it, I'm like, I think maybe I'm doing it wrong. You know? <laughs> so uh, I was borrowing private funds, but I was paying like really high rates, and like some of it was really actually hard money, some of it really wasn't private money, and I was just getting enough to make the purchase, because uh, you know they say you know if you if you just get the deal under contract you'll get the money. Yeah, right. Well, in some cases I well I was getting the money, but it was in the ninth inning, two outs, and like an hour left to close. Oh yeah, okay, you're getting the money, and but we're only going to give you enough to barely purchase the property, and maybe you might have to put 20% down on top of that. So I was not getting the rehab funding. I was not getting enough to really purchase the property the way you should. I wasn't covering holding costs, and I was buying them right, 50 cents on the dollar, so I should have had no problem getting the money. Um, and so as a result, I <laughs> was holding properties and rehabbing in slow motion. Like, we're talking two years, I finally got that one done. That's not a way to make money. And so all my profits are getting eaten up by holding costs and interest, and those lenders were very happy with me two years of interest, um, but it just wasn't working. And so right now, uh, since, since getting into the program, I've been extremely busy. I'm like a, kind of like a scatterbrain maybe sometimes. <laughs> so so uh, I've actually developed a laser focus and I know what I need to do. And so I'm making this public commitment right now. None of my old private lenders are getting another, uh, I don't want to say getting another dime, but not, not borrowing from them anymore. I'm creating my own private lending program, and I'm going to raise a million dollars by February. Yes! <laughs> and Buffy's happy. Buffy. In full disclosure, I'm supposed to be on the beach, not here. Because that's what he said I could do. And, uh, but... Uh, he did get me to come in because Jay plays the piano pretty spunky, and so does he. So we had this little bridge, and he said, just come in. So I did, and everyone was extremely warm and welcoming, so I thought, I'll stay. And <laughs> as I sat here in the other room, in the other building, I thought, all right, I'm going to just, you know, chill <laughs> and watch everybody. And so I did. And everyone has been so kind, so loving. Uh, they're not judging me because I said, I don't want to do this. Because <laughs> I've been burnt so many times by other programs that we've done, lots of money. And I wanted to make sure it was real, real to me, not just real because other people looked happy, like they're slayed in the spirit of some, but <laughs> that wasn't going to happen. But anyway, so I have found that they're very genuine. They really want to see you succeed and they're not afraid to course correct but do it in such a kind way so I, I'm, I'm thankful thank you let's give Bobby a hand I just want to add that we have uh, in another course and I won't say what it is but we've spent over $84,000 on another course 
And we have virtually nothing to show for that, nothing. I just want to say this program is worth every dime. Thank you. Um, and then we have Kelly and Becky. Uh, I'm, I'm Becky, and I want to just say that I was that spouse that was really the skeptic. There's a lot of us, you know, there's always that skeptic, and it seems like in this, the skeptic is the one that was like, oh, yeah, we, we better do this. This is good. So um, I would highly recommend it. We are probably the most like all of you sitting out there as far as being new, new investors, um, new at raising private money, all of that. And I would just tell you, we also have done another program, um, which I, I wouldn't say was completely not worth it, but it's not a value like this is. And um, so if you're at a point where you really want to get your business going and you need that help and you can put the time in, uh, it's absolutely worth it. Awesome. Give Becky a hand for sharing. And <clears throat> Before you speak, Kelly, I need everybody in this row to go that way five steps. <laughs> so sorry. No, I just didn't want them not even be able to see you. There we go. All right, now we can share. <laughs> Come on up here, baby. Um, I think, uh, and you've heard from amazing people up here, um, the coaching is phenomenal. You know, attitude reflects leadership, and this is a phenomenal group, and it starts from the top. Um, not only do you get that great coaching, but when you make that decision, uh, as far as Platinum goes, you get a family right here who are know exactly how you feel. We've been in there exactly in what you're thinking, um, and how, and you know, there's probably some fear of unknown. You break through that very quickly because you have the support of everybody here. Also, uh, I wanted to emphasize something that Crystal said earlier when she was talking about Platinum. Um, as the older, you know, the ones that have been there for a while and the new, newer group starts, and, and then you're kind of reminded um, what you've heard and get kind of refreshed. Well, for Becky and I, we were in your seats for the first time four months ago. And uh, so coming back and being at my first mastermind, our first mastermind, and now um, going through starting today, and everything makes so much more sense today than it ever has, and it's because of all the classes and the training and you know, uh, four or five days a week spending together, and it's just really, really uh, great and feels comfortable. And um, I guess lastly, um, and this is really an inside joke, and you'll hear about it, I'm sure, someday, but for all the VIPs, and when you go to the Dunes Club, uh, the ladies' room is the first two doors, not just the first one. Okay? <laughs> oh, mercy. Well, I didn't know that. Uh, now I do. But <laughs> so. It's the most awkward networking you've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> so, Crystal actually began her relationship with Carol Joy and myself and Chaffee and the team, at coming to, the, to a live event, as you are here, and enrolling in the Platinum Program. And then sub subsequently a mastermind as well. But um, Crystal, you can speak from firsthand experience, not only your own experience, but just a ton of other Platinum members, their experience. So. Um, you are up here a lot with me and Chaffee talking about the Platinum Program, but anything else that you want to say about it from your own experience and what you got out of it, like just tell them how many houses you've bought so far. <laughs> so I've bought well over, well, uh, it would be one, uh, around 175 now. 175 houses. So the Platinum Program for me, and, and I'd been investing for a long time, but I mean I had no prior training, and then the training that I did have just didn't go particularly well. I'm saying that very nicely. Um, and, and so I was struggling, and I really, I, I wanted to, I needed to change my life. I didn't really have a choice. Um, well, I mean, we all have a choice, but it wasn't a good one. And being in the Platinum Program was really getting the building blocks of putting together a successful real estate investing business. And to be able to go through the trainings, learn the deliverables, do exactly what Jay said, and that was the trick. 
I mean, I, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not going to try to tell you it's more complicated than that. It's do what he says. Like, if he says do it, just do it. If I say do it, just do it. Because it's when you second guess and you overthink it that you suddenly stop doing the things that you need to do. We come up with all the excuses. We're all that way. We find somehow, some way, maybe I need to know more. I'm not educated enough, whatever it might be. If you just do what Jay says, it's amazing. So I established a business. I was able to walk away from a 26-year career. I mean, I didn't make peanuts. I made good money. I mean, I had worked as an occupational, as an therapist. occupational therapist. And you were over how many clinics? I was over, well, at the time that I retired from my career, I had been over multiple clinics that were in outpatient and in acute care, and I was also managing the um, home health division. So I was a busy lady. I made good money. I'd worked my way up through the ranks. That's the dream career when you go and get that degree. And it was not a dream. It was a nightmare. I hated every day of it, literally. I didn't want to go anymore. I didn't even want to go. Um, and... I literally walked away from that after nine months of getting coaching, doing what I was told to do, just doing the activities. I mean, that's the beauty of the program, is it just tells you what to do. Okay, if you do this, you're gonna do that. You can work on getting private money. If you do this, you work on raising private money. If you do this, you can get deals. So for me, that, that was so amazing about it. And each and every person has that opportunity, and each and every person that just does what they're told, they've built these amazing lives. And I'm just really proud to be a part of it. Awesome. And let me ask you all a question. So I'm going to give you an example, a living, right here, living example of what it means to have a servant's heart. She's raised over $3.5 million in private money. She's bought over 175 houses. She bought 25 houses in just a three-month period a year and a half ago. And then I asked her to start helping me coach and deliver the coaching and work with the mastermind groups. Let me ask you a question. Do you think she even has to be here at this event financially? My lands, the money she is making just as a real estate investor, do you think she had to sacrifice this week, all week, mastermind in this, in this live event, and leaving her two kids with her parents and sacrificing that week together with her children and as, as important as her children are, right? Crystal is here this week because of you. And she has the same passion as Carol Joy, myself, and Chaffee, and the other coaches of wanting to give back. She's here. I can tell you she ain't here for the money. I know how much I pay her. <laughs> she is here in a big part to give back from that that she has gotten by all of us working together. And she is now able to fulfill her passion. And we talked about that higher calling and that higher purpose this morning. She's here this week with you and every week with all the Platinums because she is fulfilling her higher calling and her passion of serving you. Let's give Crystal a big hand. Carol Joy, what did you just summarize in hearing what you see and hear these Platinums wow. sharing? Wow, I'm just, I'm just like overwhelmed. I'm like, wow, all that money they've raised in that can be put to so much good purpose, not just for their lives, but other people they are able to help. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconner.com slash money guide. That's jconner.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconnor.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Connor.